Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us again today. Uh, we wanted to do one more um, quick video and maybe a little bit longer if you have questions, but uh, the deadline for APS is coming up here on September 1st, right? Yep, September 1st. So uh, we had a lot of great responses and comments um, and questions from the last uh, video that we did on this topic. So we, we realize that it's something that people are interested in and there's a lot of people who don't want to miss this deadline. So we want to bring you uh, Val one more time to answer any questions that you might have and um, make sure that you get all the information that you need if you decide to take this step. Okay, so again, um, any questions that you have, just put it in the comments. We're going to be able to see them right away and, and we're going to answer for you. Um, so any, any, anything that you have been wondering about or how this might affect you, just uh, let us know, put the comments in below and uh, we'll be happy to help, okay? So uh, enough said for me, I, I just wanted to, to bring him over one more time and be able to give you all the information that would be helpful to you. So we know they changed the rates, right? Right. right. But more importantly, we have until September 1st right. if we decide to, to take that step and wait before I give it to him. So we just went through my scenario for our house and um, we are figuring out which is the best option for us. So uh, before the deadline comes, uh, hopefully we'll have that figured out and we'll be one of the last people to get in. So if, uh, if you're in the same spot, do the same thing that we just did, come on in or, or just call him and uh, sit down and figure out what it is that you need to do. And I promise you guys, this is the guy that's gonna help you if you need to do to do this right, okay? So what do we need to do if we're gonna get it done and how much time do we have? Right, thanks so much, Robert. So a um, couple things I wanted to, to go over, like you said, I wanna go over what the deadline means for everybody, okay? I also wanna mention a bit, uh, talk about what happened in last week's meeting. Because okay. last time we did this last week, the meeting was actually happening, happening in real time right. at that time. Right. Um, so let's go over that a little bit first. Um, APS had the Corporation Commission on the 19th. They had a meeting and they voted on APS's ongoing rate case, which has been going actually since last June. Um, APS actually had everything they asked for got approved. Which means they get, they get to raise their they prices. They get to raise their prices. So nah. originally they were asking for September 1st as the rate change. Um, they were actually able to get that moved up to the 19th. So that means for what that means for homeowners is that if you currently live in a house and if you're not moving, you're gonna stay on the rate plan you're on. Mm -hmm. And rate plan by that I mean like time advantage 12 to 7, which most people are on, right. where it's more expensive between 12 to 7. Mm -hmm. um, or some people are on the standard plan where it's the same all the time. You're gonna get to stay on that plan for now. APS is going to move you to one of their new rate plans between now and May 1st of next year, okay? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. so by May 1st of next year, everybody's going to be on one of these new plans. The more expensive plans. The more expensive. Now, here's the thing. Even the plans before they move you, all of their rates went up. Their actual rates that you pay for electricity went up about 16.6%. Yikes. Okay. And that doesn't include the... Uh, so that's the current rate plans. The new rate plans, if you actually look... And I don't know how this actually made it through and got approved. I don't know how it, how it gets through any time. Seriously, but uh, it went up. If you look, their, their summer off-peak rates went from 6.1 cents to 10.9. It's about almost a, double. It's almost a 78% increase. Jesus. Right? Uh, and then, same, you know, their, their, their summer on-peak rate actually stayed about the same. That didn't, that didn't go up. But the off-peak rate went up about 78%. And the winter off-peak rate went up about 23%. All the rates went up, and so, there was a lot of talk. There was a lot of talk on the news about the six percent. I don't know where that came from because if you look at the actual numbers, and you know, six point one before, ten point nine before, you just do the math. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. Uh, just a question for me because I always get it mixed up, and and hopefully I'm not the only one. So I'm trying to help some people who are watching as well. The off peak mm -hmm. is the one that went up. So almost yeah, twice. Right, the off peak rate. So and and that's the one that is usually less expensive or is that yes. more? Okay. So typically in the past, before the rate increase, the on-peak rate, and, and the on-peak rate used to be 12 to seven, Monday through Friday. The more Not expensive a, time. Uh, the, yes, the more expensive time, Okay. 12 to seven. And it was about 23 cents, 24 cents a kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. The off-peak rate was about 6.1. Okay. The, uh, in the summer, they kept the on-peak rate at around the same 24 cents, 
the off-peak rate went up 78 percent so the uh, that's why i wanted to verify so the the time that it was less expensive for us those are the rates that those they are the increase. rates that are increasing and, and, they and that also improve. that's also all of your weekend power so weekends are considered off-peak so yeah. off-peak uh, weekend power essentially went up 78 percent wow um now here's the here's the good thing about solar this is where you know obviously this is a good time for solar yes because uh, a lot of homeowners are going solar and by going solar you actually get grandfathered into the plan you had okay. right so it doesn't all these new plans don't affect you uh, one of the things that's happening with the new plans the the time advantage is changing they give it a new name the saver choice or something along those lines okay. and it's no longer gonna be 12 to 7 it's gonna be 3 to 8 so now APS was you know promoting that as like hey less on peak hours which is true but in real in real life terms between 12 to 3 nobody was really using that much power but between right. 7 and 8 at night when people are cooking putting the kids to bed you know doing laundry that's going to now be an on peak power so that you know that's going to be more expensive yeah and it's going to cost you more um so that's what happened with with APS's rate case now I don't like it I don't like it either so that's why we got to get solar <laughs> so here's what's going on with solar with solar you've got um if you go solar between now and the end of the month yep midnight really on the 31st you can get grandfathered in to not only net metering which is basically net metering just real quick means that the power that goes back to the grid you get to pull it back when you need it nice so during the day for example you know the solar is producing power it's feeding your house directly whatever extra power it makes goes back to APS and back to your neighbors okay. and then at night when the sun's not out you get to pull that power back that's what's ending on September 1st yikes Okay. Aside from the net metering, what also means is that you get to lock in the plan that you're on. So if you're on a standard plan or if you're on the 12 to 7 plan now, you actually get to stay on that plan for the next 20 years. And do so does the person moving into your house. Do you also get to stay at the current rates? You don't. Okay, so the so rates are still going to go up no matter what. The rates are, right, absolutely. So the rates are still going to go up. But the important thing when, when it comes to solar is if you go solar by September 1st, and you have a full offset system, meaning that the system produces enough power to cover all of your needs, mm -hmm. you don't have to buy any power from APS. Right. So the, they could raise their rates 500% and it wouldn't affect you. Okay. So that's, that's really the key thing and that's why there's so many people that are going solar now uh, to, take, to take advantage of that. Yeah, Right. That makes sense. Um, just to let everybody know, so September, no, September 1st is, it's already too late September 1st. You, you have to do this by the end of the day, August 31st. And when we say that, what actually needs to happen um, to get the to get the reservation, to get grandfathered in, you actually have to sign up for solar. There's uh, about three forms that need to be filled out with APS. Those forms then need to be uploaded. We need to get you a reservation with APS. Mm -hmm. After we get that reservation, we upload the information to them. Then we need to do a site diagram. We need to do engineered uh, one-line electrical diagram and three-line electrical diagram. Okay. So there's a lot of things, I guess. So people that, you know, Somebody like I'll wait a little bit longer. The longer you wait, no. there's no yeah, there's no guarantee people will get in. We're going to be working along with our the engineers till midnight, really, on the 31st to try to get as many people grandfathered in as possible. Yeah. So. So so that's a good point because right when we say you have to do it before September 1st, doesn't mean you have to have your panels up on the roof and you got to be plugged in to, to the grid, right? Absolutely. That, that's not what it means. That's so not. it's basically paperwork. Yes. Get in, talk to one of his guys, right. talk to him directly, and just get your reservation in. Make sure first that it makes sense for you. Choose the option that right. works best for you. They're going to do the work for you. Upload the documents. You just probably have to sign and, and agree with whatever right. you're going to do. Yep. And all that has to happen before August 31st right. by midnight. Right. Okay. So all those things. And now when it comes to installation, because you made a good point there, after we get your uh, solar reservation, we have 180 days okay. to get that up on the roof. Okay. So that, that's nothing should be enough time you know, to finish the project. Uh, there won't be any worries there. The good thing too about the timing is, it's important with, when it comes to solar that you're up and running you know, before January or in January because you wanna build those credits up the way solar works. And obviously when people call us with questions, uh, we can explain that a little mm -hmm. bit more detail of what that means. But going solar now, not only will you get grandfathered, but by the time that January rolls around, the system should be getting turned on and it'll work just as designed. Perfect, perfect. So that answers all the questions that I have. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, we do see a couple of things here that, uh, that are coming through. So any questions that will help you guys make this decision before it's too late, um, definitely let them know. Um, and, and part of these things that, you know, these, these interviews and, and these videos that, that we're trying to bring to you, um, it's always going to be quality people that I've either worked with, um, have done any type of business with before, and I personally would vouch for their work. In this case, it's also a personal friend, and um, there is no other perfectionist that I know, so there's nobody else that I would want to see work on something like this for me. And, and if, if uh, Solar goes bust in a couple of years and he starts a different business, <laughs> I'm going to him for whatever he's doing because he's a I, perfectionist in what he does. So I promise you guys you're in good hands. If uh, Solar is something that's been on your mind and you want to try to get it done before the deadline, make a comment, give him a call, uh, get together with his team, and, and he'll take care of you guys uh, uh, before, the, before it's too late. Robert, I appreciate it. Thanks again, of course, for stopping by and letting us get the word out. Absolutely. Again, yeah, we encourage everybody, go to our website if you want to just request some information. Uh, call our office or just reach out on Facebook and at least take a look at it because obviously right. there's no, you know, at least you have the information in front of you. Here's what APS is doing. Here's what solar is going to cost me. And then you can make an informed decision from there. There you go. That's Thank it. You guys. Like I said, we don't want to keep it long. Uh, we're going to have his website down below. So just click on that, uh, his uh, contact information. So everything you need is going to be right there. Uh, give him a call and uh, let's go solar before it's too late. Sounds Thanks good. so much for Thank watching. And have a good day. Bye bye.